bridged the tropical plains with a wintry yet warm-hearted family welcome at London Airport. As the Argonaut Atalanta finally came to a halt, Princess Anne won the race to greet her parents. First up the gangway, eagerly followed by her brother. Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, and Princess Margaret, too, joined the joyous family reunion. Welcoming cheers greeted the Queen, who has, in 21 crowded days, forged a closer parental bond with a young nation swiftly approaching political maturity. Then the official greetings from the Lord Lieutenant of Middlesex, Sir Anthony Eden on behalf of the government, while three Nigerian commissioners in London re-echoed the grateful thanks of the colony. And now, in near freezing temperatures, came another link with that sunny land, when the Queen acknowledged the welcome from Nigerian cadets under training at Sandhurst. All was ready for the royal departure. Then Her Majesty remembered something, a last word with her mother. The Queen had rejoined her family circle. Throughout the drive to Buckingham Palace, Londoners lined the streets, and their cheers not only brought warmth to a chilly homecoming, but seemed also to bear a message, a common tribute to a job well done. The great tour was over. After flying 16,000 miles and carrying out 150 engagements, often in tropical heat, the Queen was home.